Hey there, welcome back to Biz Data. In today's video, we'll be talking about crowdfunding and the myths that surround it. So firstly, what is crowdfunding? To raise the money required to operate a business or a project, large group of people pool their small individual investments. Startup companies and expanding businesses most frequently use crowdfunding to obtain alternative funding. It is a creative method of obtaining funding for a new endeavor, enterprise or concepts. Entrepreneurs, business people and organizations, particularly small and medium enterprises, are the target audience for this guide. This video might be helpful if you're considering how to fund a new venture or idea, or if you've heard of crowdfunding and want to learn more about it. There are various types of crowdfunding equity, depth, rewards, donations. Since startups and companies majorly opt for equity crowdfunding, in this video we will dive deep into equity crowdfunding. First things first, what is equity crowdfunding? Equity crowdsourcing exchanges financial support for the company's security with a number of potential investors. A share of the company is due to each investor in proportion to their investment. Equity crowdfunding is not a very old concept yet, is surrounded by numerous myths. Watch this video till the end to get 5 myths about equity crowdfunding busted. Myth number 1. It is only for early age startup companies. Equity crowdfunding works for all different stages and types of companies including those who have already raised angel or venture funding. The core benefit is that the funds to run the company can be raised. We understand that companies require funds at any stage from expansion to running day-to-day -day operations and marketing. Myth number two, crowdfunding for equity is too difficult. It can be overwhelming to navigate the maze of regulations, exclusions and guidelines that govern equity crowdfunding. However, businesses that use well-established platforms like BizData are given access to a skilled, experienced partner who will walk you through every step of the process and appreciate the particulars of your interest. In addition to helping founders execute successful fundraisers while negotiating complexity like due diligence, operational structuring, compliance and many more, we help develop the regulations governing equity crowdfunding. Myth number 3. Your cap table will be messed up if you raise an equity crowdfunding round. Many small shareholders, according to some founders, will make it difficult to keep a clean cap table. In reality, the founding team was taken into account while structuring our platform capital raises, which groups many of the small individual investors under a single line item to make it simple to handle retail investors over the course of the company. Myth 4. Equity crowdfunding is the same as venture capital. While venture capital agreements are typically closed in favor of the investors, equity crowdfunding allows business owners to raise money on their terms. When you raise money through an equity crowdfunding site, you will be in control even though your campaign terms still need to be compelled enough to draw investors. Myth number 5. Equity crowdfunding should only be resorted to in extreme cases. Equity crowdfunding is not the last option for many business owners. It actually makes sense to start by trying to acquire money through equity crowdfunding. A successful campaign will provide you with a much needed expansion capital. Show that your product is marketable and establish a standard for your valuation request. All of which will offer you more negotiating power when you approach angel investors for your next round of funding. Doesn't this clear a lot of misconceptions that you had in your head filled with before? I'm sure after watching this video, you do not want to resist from being a part of equity crowdfunding. Head over to bizdatab.com to learn more. Thanks for watching.